Hi guys, today I'm gonna to teach you how to do one of the simplest and easiest ways to do black and white development. It is a single bath, a single step, piece of cake. I'm talking about the R3 Monobath developer. Now this isn't a developer that I developed, this is a developer that's been available out on the internet for a while, but it's a mixture that you can really easily create on your own. So before we get started, I'm gonna take my Graflex Series D here, and I'm gonna go outside and shoot a sheet of ortholitho uh, Arista film. Um, and that's just because it's a cheap, easy film to use. You can do this with any black and white film in any format you like. And then I'm gonna load it up in my four x five development tank, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mix some stuff. So anyway, let's go take a picture of that, and uh, we'll be back in a minute. Hey guys, we're back. So now I'm gonna give you a list of instructions for what you're going to need to create your monobath. The first thing that you're going to need is going to be HC110. And actually I'm using Legacy Pro's L110, which is a slightly cheaper uh, knockoff of HC110, but it's exactly the same as the real thing. You're also going to need Ilford Rapid Fix um, in concentrate, and you're gonna need regular household ammonia. So a monobath is basically going to develop and fix at the same time. So you basically only have one step for processing. So we'll go ahead and we'll create, uh, create the monobath and I'll show you what we need to do. So I'm gonna be creating for this tank, which has a 500 milliliter uh, film capacity. So I'm going to give instructions for creating 500 milliliters of this monobath. Now, if you have a 250 milliliter tank, you can cut it in half. If you need a thousand, you can double it. Uh, just work out the math for yourself. It's real easy. So the first thing that you're gonna need is 100 milliliters of the household ammonia. So we're gonna pour that in here. And I apologize, this mono bath is going to smell just a little bit because of the ammonia. Actually, I poured just a little too much in there, so we're gonna pour a little bit back. There we go, perfect. So the next thing that you're going to take is your rapid fix. Child safety caps get photographers too. And you're going to want 20 milliliters. And the uh, marks on mine are a little hard to see here in the studio, but we'll pull it off. I got 20 milliliters of the concentrate is gonna go into the ammonia. And finally, we're gonna take our HC110. Now this recipe is based on HC110A. So we're going to go 32 milliliters, which will get us HC110A of the HC110. And then the very last thing we're gonna do Top it off with water to 500 milliliters. I measured my water perfectly there. Okay, so we're going to take my development tank, which I've already put my film inside. And we're gonna pull my phone out and we're gonna set a timer. And we're gonna set my timer for six minutes. Okay. 
So I'm going to pour my developer into my tank. Not too fast so it doesn't bubble back out. You might get a little bit of bubbles from the ammonia and that's okay. I'm going to start my timer, put the cap on, and I am going to agitate slowly for the first 30 seconds. Fifteen. Just twenty seconds. And that's thirty. And then we are just going to let the tank sit for the rest of the six minutes. And that'll be the only step we have other than washing the film. We won't have to worry about fixing it. We won't have to worry about any other steps. That's it. Now I'm not gonna make you sit here for six minutes to develop this. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up our six minutes and we'll come back with you after that. Okay guys, we're back. We have about 10 seconds left on our timer. So I'm going to go ahead and open the drain screw here. And we're gonna wait our last three seconds. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour it out. This developer supposedly keeps pretty well. I have not ever tried it more than one shot, um, but supposedly it works pretty decent for quite a while and you can get quite a few rolls of film out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna pour some water in here just to rinse it out. But in fact, I'm gonna actually pour the top off since the development should be completely done. I can rinse it a little bit that way. See, I've got a little bit of suds left over from the ammonia. Whew, I can still smell it. So one thing is this developer with that much ammonia in it is a little bit pungent. I'm just going to go ahead and pour it back in. Now when I pour my film, when I pull my film sheet out of here, we should have a very nicely developed image. It's hard to see on the holder. It's going to be a little hard to see that. Looks like I might have underexposed it a little bit, but we have a very nicely developed image there. And I'll go ahead and I'll post that at the end so you guys can see it a little bit easier uh, instead of just uh, at a distance on the camera. But that is about as easy as it gets for black and white development. Um, it's one step, it's one process, it's all of six minutes. And if you pre-mix it, you can use it really fast. I've actually used this out in the field a couple of times for when I don't have enough film holders to uh, to carry the amount of shots I'd like to shoot. I just develop right there on site and I uh, carry this along with me. And so it's worked actually really well for that. Anyway, I hope this was interesting. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down in the comments. And as always guys, thanks a ton for watching.